We are on Tucked In Christmas Corner with Ken. He has us covered when it comes to switching on those lights <laughs> during the holiday season. I took a bunch of things and, and just kind of, kind of brought them all together. I hope they work. You want to explain all that to everybody? <laughs> We're doing switch plate covers. That's what he was referring exactly. to here. <laughs> yeah, but well, growing up, my mom always had the saying when decorating for the holidays that there had to be a little bit of Christmas in every room of the house. Yeah. Even rooms we didn't use always had Christmas, which is always funny because in January, you'd always like stumble into like, oh, got to take that. Yeah. Yeah. Closet thing, <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. Um, which made me think of these switch. She used to she used to make little switch plate covers and just little things like that. Not they weren't necessarily fancy or, or cool, but yeah. they were just as a little kid, it was just so wonderful, magical. Is magical. What they were. Exactly. Yeah. So this is a great project. It's very easy. Um, you can start them now. You can make them for all over the house. You can make so many different types. Um, and just put them over your switch plate. So every time you come into that room, switch on the lights. A little bit of a little bit of Christmas magic. Okay. So other than a light switch, what do we need? Um, so. What you're going to need is just balsa wood, and you can make this whole thing out of one piece of balsa wood. It's like three fifty or something from the craft store. Okay, what exactly um, is balsa wood? So balsa wood is that super super light. If you see here, like you can you can with a finger you can like cut yeah, oh, through it. Oh you know they make goodness. like like paper airplanes out of them. So okay. it's very very easy to work with. It's very in the craft fragile. store. Yeah. Okay. Um, some hot glue, and then whatever you got in your little craft paraphernalia. I've used some glitter, some buttons, some some glitter felt. So. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice, exactly. Okay. Um, so basically what you're going to do first is cut out all of your pieces. You can get everything out of one piece of balsa wood, which I did, I did here. Um, okay. Now I cut balsa wood, use, the best way to cut it is with a, um, you know, with an exacto, exactly. you know, and it what? cuts, it cuts really it? like, oh it goodness. cuts really that wow. easy. Okay. But my little trick, if you like, for details and all that, you can actually even cut it. Scissors. Not with the good scissors the that sheer, a good friend gives you for Christmas. That, be that you have lost. That I've lost. The scissors uh, that I gave you for Christmas because you complained <laughs> you couldn't find the other Because someone was probably cutting wood with them. There you you can also cut them with a little pair of, of old scissors, okay. which makes it super easy to work with. Okay. And it doesn't get any splinters with that? No, and then a little bit, you can, a little bit like an down. emery board, a little piece of sand will get rid all of it. Right. It's that easy to work with. So what do we do? Once you do that, you're going to just paint all your pieces. Boom, boom, boom. I've already done all that here. Once you have them painted, what you're going to want to do, because that board is so narrow, I cut a piece of just craft paper, and I'm just going to glue the pieces to the bit of craft paper just to sort of unite them because I wanted something a little bit wider. You could also build a narrow a narrow piece that would just have that Is balsa it. wood, is this what you would recommend? What if you wanted to use something else? I liked the balsa wood only because I liked having that little bit of grain there, okay. but you could also use foam core, you could make this I'm out sure. of felt, and you oh, can really yeah. take this concept and make it out of everything. There's something about the wood I liked that just had that little bit of grain there. Okay. Now for the roof of the house, what I'm going to do, Mark, please forgive me, is just to add a little sparkle, we're wow. going to um, just give this a little, bit of, wow, a little, bit, of, a little bit of glitter. That's a lot. <laughs> Wow, you didn't even shake that. You there just took we the go. lid right off and went. I know, the little shaker, I can never get enough out of the little shaker. I always take the lid off. Are you shaken by that? I'm not shaken, okay. stirred. Okay. But, and, okay. And it's always nice to just overlap your little opening. Yeah. By the way, to get That's that opening, cute. what you want to do is take your switch plate off, just trace that around mm -hmm. and cut it, and that'll give you the right size opening. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add our tree. Uh, nice. It's a tree. That's beautiful. And you can Ken. really just like you know. You just create any, like Debbie said, dealer's choice. Anything you want. Exactly. It you could, could any a house, a, house a, a Christmas sleigh, whatever you want to. And that's why this is super fun for kids to create as well, and kids to help you with. Would you build and then paint, or well, do you prefer painting and then? Well, I think it depends upon the look. It's a great question, Debbie. So this, I wanted to be very sort of whimsical cutout. But honestly, if I were doing this and didn't have kids, I would do it all first and do like a whitewash and then oh. an antique and have it yeah. look very kind of, right, you would get you a, would very, fancy. a very different look. Um, and then the the real question, because I'm thinking about how do you not damage the wall? Like what's a, what's a way you would hear this? Question. To the light switch. I would use just three inch wood screws in about six different places straight into your wall. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I I'm just use double stick adhesive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's what I was on board right away. <laughs> yeah, he's going like, over. He's he's going lost his board. mind completely. <laughs> yeah. No, so I just use some E6000. It's never coming down. 